it's woven throughout our history. They still hold a very special place in the nation's heart and as you can see from the pandemic, the question is always whether schools are going to open and whether pubs are going to open. <laughs> That's always the question. I'm Simon. I'm the landlord of the Anchor and Hope pub, as well as the Royal Sovereign pub, both in Clapton, in E5, in Hackney, East London. Well, this is quite a famous pub. Mid 1840s, 1850s, it was built on the River Lee. It's very picturesque. But you can see it from the railway track, so when you mention it, everyone's heard of it. Even if they haven't been here, they've always seen it, they've walked past it. I've been at this pub for three years and I've had my other pub for 14 years. They're both traditional um, pubs, basically. <laughs> Got a quite a crazy clientele of old Hackney types. Um, it's quite famous for its mad customers and staff. This is Russell, who still works here. He's worked here for 20 odd years. I had a very famous landlord. That's a photo of Les receiving his MB from the Queen for being Britain's longest serving landlord. It's always been a famous real ale pub. They've said they sell it here because you're right next to the relief and it was always at the right temperature because the water cooled it. So the ale was always kept perfectly at the right temperature. Maybe that's how it's got its real ale reputation. What is there a real ale brewers? Real ale is a live product, so you buy it in a cast, seal cask, and once you tap it, the oxygen gets in, it activates the yeast and the product starts brewing and conditioning again. It takes 24, 48 hours to be ready, then you've got to serve it within three days to be perfect. Real ale drinkers know their product, they're very Discerning, stroke fussy. It's got, it's got to be perfect or they won't like it. I think if you're only having a pub, you can't have it at home. Anything else you can drink out of a bottle or a tin, but uh, real ale is strictly only in a pub. Yeah. Pubs are always changing. I mean, the main change in the last 25 years is the amount of pubs that have closed. It's very hard to survive now as a wet lead pub where you serve almost solely drinks. This is mostly wet at the moment, but um, pretty hard to survive as a beer only pub. They're the pubs that generally close down. They're the pubs in poorer areas where they don't make enough of a profit to protect themselves from being taken over as housing or other uses, yeah. So along here, there used to be seven or eight pubs. This one, obviously, then a few doors down, there's a pub that was called the Beehive. That closed in the mid 60s, I believe. A bit further on, there was a pub called the Robin Hood, which I remember from when I was young. That closed in the early 2000s. That's probably about 50 or 60 flats now. Still see the pub sign in the little Robin Hood gardens. There's a pub called the Ship of Ground. It's being very slowly turned into a Sikh temple. It used to be a West Indian pub. All those flats there, a massive site was Latham's Woodyard. There used to be some little docks behind there. There was a lot of industry, so obviously probably a couple of thousand workers. They've all closed apart from this one and the Princess of Wales now. Viable pubs just closed down the front and centre. Yeah. Turned into supermarkets, convenience stores, pound shops. I, I, I hate it, yeah. <laughs> it breaks my heart. I don't you think you can look, you can look for the old pub side, you think of all the history and the, the, uh, the fights and the feuding and the, the fun and that went on there, the piano, the singing, all the life. It's quite sad. There's still a space for pubs like this, which are just more traditional. They're not a standard business, they give community benefit, good pub. In a residential area, if they've got a pub in the corner, it just seems to be a more lively area and it just brings life to an area. It's where people go to celebrate weddings, funerals, birthdays, all those major events. It gives it a place outside of the home where people can meet and celebrate together and get to know your neighbours and your friends. A good pub is sort of like your front room with all your friends in it and a nice drink. 